Hello, I will show you how to create an R package in approximately 5 minutes. You can submit it to CRAN if you want to, but you'll have to convince the CRAN maintainers that it's a useful package, which it will be not. Um, but let's get started. Let's create a package. So file, new project, a new directory, and R package recommended unit to work with, and just call it Tamperer. It's a temporary package, just give it any name, it's completely irrelevant for this tutorial. And the cool thing about R and R Studio is that it gives me already some code to work on. So there are some files created, this file is called hello.r, which contains a function that prints hello world. We're going to use that one. Uh, and also, so it creates a folder temper, and there's also a description file, and a namespace file, and an R project file. These are the R files, which is hello.r in it. Uh, there she is. There's also a man folder which contains the manual, I like the documentation. And the first thing we're going to do is can we already submit to CRAN? So we click on the build tab, we click on check, and it's going to check if we can submit this um, package to CRAN already. No, we cannot. Because, and the cool thing about this, it will tell you what's wrong. So that's very helpful as a beginner. You don't need to Google. It says, hey, I'm, I've been checking the description file, which is here and I found that there is no license yet and it requires to have a license so we click on description and here you also see that here it gives you some skeleton code and we need to modify the license so I like to use GPL3 because I like to work uh, open source and open and free libre and open source things and now we can again check our package and you'll see it works awesomely so one thing we'll be changing is the, the way the package is documented. So at the moment in the man file there is some documentation which also shows an example but this is the old school one. And we're going to use Roxygen 2 here. So we have to activate Roxygen 2 by going to tools, project options, we go to our build tools, we generate the documentation with Roxygen click on OK, we click on OK and now we use uh, Roxygen. So now on the build tab you have a new option called document and now it can build our documentation. But there's a problem here and it clearly indicates what the problem is. Actually it's not a problem, it's a feature. Hey, because it says, hey dear user, uh, when I document, when me, Roxygen 2, when I, when I uh, write the functions to namespace I already find that there is a namespace present. I will not overwrite that. So that's very friendly by Roxygen 2. It won't it will be careful modifying your work. So if I now take a look at namespace, this is some kind of old school way to do it, which is great. It's a great way, but um, uh, if we really want to use Roxygen 2, let's just delete it. And that Roxygen 2 uh, created itself and um, take care of this for us, which is the, the which is awesome. Let let Roxygen 2 do that. Uh, so uh, let's take just a peek, quick look. And so this is what Rox uh, Ro generated by Roxygen 2. Do not edit by hand. Uh, that's great. Roxygen 2 takes care of that. So now I'm going to clean and rebuild the package. And I'm going to check if we can still submit it to CRAN because um, we let Roxygen 2 now generate the documentation. But maybe something is wrong and something will be wrong. And that's because the documentation is still gen generated in the old fashioned way, in the, in the old, yeah, the, the earlier way, without Roxygen 2. It's, it's here in the man thing. And um, there was an example in it, and it says, hey, I can't find the function hello anymore. Well, let's fix that by modifying this um, file, hello.r, which contains the function. And I'm going to ruthlessly remove all the comments. And I'm going to do the Roxygen 2 documentation. So what does the function do? Well, it does. It prints hello world. That's all it does. Uh, but you also need to export it. Uh, that means that it's a public function. It, the user can use it. So if I now click on document, then now it says, hey, dear user, hello.rd was not generated by Roxygen and will not be overwritten. All right, so now we're going to ruthlessly remove the old school version. Yes, we're going to delete it. 
and now again we let raw oxygen to take care of it so we document it you'll see it appears here but now it's generated by raw oxygen which is great and also in namespace the function appears because now it's an exported function so it's cool always let it's great to let raw oxygen to do it but for beginners this is a uh, this is um, unexpected perhaps so that's why I show it in this tutorial great let's see if we can already submit it to CRAN again because that would be great and I predict we can already submit it to CRAN because everything is um, is in place now but of course the package is still minimal it's still trivial of course but we need a vignette to demonstrate what our package does so we type we use DevTools for that uh, use vignette and I like to call it demo to demonstrate what our package does and as always, this vignette is created in the file folder called Vignettes, what a convenient name. And there's some skeleton code again, and I'm going to ruthlessly remove most of it. There's a lot of documentation there, you can read it on your own. But I'm going to keep the minimal thing in my vignette, I'm going to load the library temper, and I'm going to call the function hello. And of course, you can write stuff here. This is the this is the library temper. Uh, it has a very important function called hello. So now I've authored my vignette. I'm going to use knitter to knit it. And it can't find the function hello yet because I forgot to clean and rebuild. Because Roxygen made it an exported function, but I, if I have to clean and rebuild it so that that in the uh, our namespace it's known so if you now knit uh, again it will find it right so in case of if you're a beginner and you think hey why doesn't it work first thing always clean and rebuild without thinking and then you'll see that some problems immediately vanish all right I all still forget it so it's uh, great so we have our vignette that's great of course we have to t we have to write some tests uh, our code coverage is zero percent now so we're going to test our beloved hello function for that I use DevTools use test hello if we take a look at the temper folder structure it created a folder called tests within that yeah this is an, uh, it creates a test that folder and test hello is exactly this file which is again skeleton code and we're going to test the usage of hello and we expect that if we call the function hello we expect a message no we expect output which is the better and the output we expect it to be is hello world and now I can test my package and it runs all the tests and um, we've tested our code now so let's see if we can submit it to CRAN so we have our documentation in place we have a nice vignette we have tested all our code um, check doesn't give any errors so now we can submit it to CRAN alright so um, good luck writing packages you can submit to CRAN of course it's a trivial thing you have to convince the CRAN maintainer that this is a useful package which it isn't but except for that yes you this is everything you need uh, this is a minimal uh, fully functional package. Alright, enjoy!